I've been stalking my ex's socials for nearly one year now. When I open my eyes in the morning, the first thing I do is put her at into her and go through her new likes and retweets. Liverpool Uni. He's been doing what with what? <laughs> he's essentially, yeah, he's been stalking her socials for a year. Yeah. Every time he wakes up in the morning, he puts her at into her and then looks at her new retweets. I wonder what's going to happen when she starts talking to someone new. <sighs> Wait, are I they together? Gonna... They're not together. It's they're the ex. exes for a year. I wonder what's going to happen when he starts talking to someone Maybe new. Maybe exes? Yeah. Oh, you're rid. You're dumb. You're so dumb. Wait, sorry, you're so sorry. stupid. Mo. You're Mo. such a dumb. Now, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Oh. He's oh. been stalking his ex. Listen, I was about to go into this thing if it was his girlfriend. You said his ex. Yeah. <laughs> you jobless biscuit, fam. You jobless, jobless biscuit. You were sent for education and to better your life, fam. You're live. Hey, yo, welcome back to Sadders Podcast. This is your boy, Mo. And uh, who are we hearing from today? Got to talk with the guy, Senpai. Who's Taff Final on the pod, a.k.a. the champion. You are also listening to the No Trims Podcast. <laughs> and you have your boy, Tom. I'm behind the camera this week. Yes, yeah, so that's not true. Stage fright got him, man. As you can see, Tom's not on the screen today because um, we kicked Tom off. And when we made that decision... We went up by a thousand subscribers. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go, man. You might keep laughing. Where are you at? Where are you at? We're not on podcast. I still hear his voice now, actually. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. You might keep laughing. When you come to record this podcast next week and I don't open the door, I'm going to be laughing in my flat. What do you mean, Tom? I'll, be I'll, be I'll release next week's podcast on my own. It's okay. All you, I'm saying is... All I'm saying is when you come to record and I don't open the door next week. Tom. It's funny. Right. Thanks and to what are you recording on? Your potato for phone, bro? By removing Tom <laughs> off the screen, yes. our subscribers tripled. That is... Listen. <laughs> Tom, we haven't released this episode. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? This is the first week out. We haven't released this episode. Oh, okay. oh you're a mug, bro. Okay. You're a mug. <laughs> Hey, okay. Right then, mate. Okay, so not to get off on the wrong foot, mm -hmm. uh, but today, a bit too late. But today we're talking that. about ACS, Let's which go. is the African Caribbean Society, Bow. and just our general experience so far over the past three years, mm -hmm. and also our own involvements within the society, as we have all had a relationship with the committee in some way or form. Just to let you guys know, we are drinking today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Happy, Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, Day St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Paddy's. wearing khaki just for that. I couldn't wear green. I'm sometimes. wearing yellow just for that. Yeah. I'm wearing grey and cream for St. Patrick's Day. And got my pot of gold right here. Fuck it's not mm. gold. Fucking it's English not, people, bro. Anyway. Yeah. We're African, Tom. Yeah. Oh, are you African or are you English? Uh, I'm British and I'm African. I filled out my census the other day, man. Don't chat to me about what I am, bro. I'm black British. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> guys, it's done. It's, uh, it's on them forums, isn't it? But, but yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, Taff. Let's go. ACS, your first experience first year. All right. Uh, first year ACS, yeah. Uh, I came because I like being surrounded by um, people of the same background. You get what I'm saying? So when I first walked into ACS, I was like, cool. Let me see what they're saying in terms of like, where I, co where I come from is I'm, I'm around a lot of black people. So then when I came to Newcastle, it's a bit of a culture shock, as you know, like in previous episodes, we've also said that the Newcastle isn't a very diverse city. So if you're looking for, if you find comfort in having people from your culture around you, then I'd recommend going to ACS because that, that was the main driving factor for me going to ACS, right? So I, I went there, I spoke to some people and I mainly went there for like, I wasn't really looking, thinking about, oh, what events do they have? What are they doing? I was literally just going to ACS just to make friends. Like it wasn't, I didn't go there with anything else in mind really. How about you guys? Um, Yeah, I'd say same as well. As in, as you said before, the first thing you hear before coming to Newcastle, I'm not sure if you guys heard it, but like Newcastle was my first choice. So back at home, I'd always tell people like, yo, I'm going to Newcastle Uni. And they'd be like, hey, better get used to listening to Unsun's music. And just um, all sorts really. And like, just expect not to really meet people like black essentially. So I think the idea of ACS uh, just really resonated with me because it's like, oh, it's the perfect place to meet people just like me. And I think it's important to mingle with people like you as well. Because it builds that sense of similar, uh, under, of understanding really. And like, oh, you've been through similar experiences and you can sort of relate to them in a sense. So 
uh, yeah, I mean, that's sort of why I was like resonated with the idea of ACS. But um, yeah, my first experience, it was calm and just getting to meet people as well um, who relate to me in that sense too was enjoyable too. No, I mean, I didn't really do too much with ACS first year. I was a bit of a closeted uh, person, if you will. Anyway, guys, <laughs> so my first year ACS, it was a bit non-existent really. I only went to the first event, which was the meet and greet, didn't do too much. I went there on the same basis that Tom and Taff really did. Sorry, Taff and Toby really did, uh, which is just trying to meet people that are black like me. Um, similar look on life, you know, obviously same looking skin, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we have a lot of stuff in common. But I didn't do too much that year because I was closeted, like I said. Second year, uh, did a lot more, went to a lot more events and got a lot more out of it, made a lot more friends, uh, got to know a lot more people. And just ingrained myself more in the culture, I would say. It was a good, it was a good thing for my university experience. I would definitely have to say that. Mm. Uh, no, for me, I didn't go to the first event. Um, I, I think I slept through it, if I recall correctly. You slept through the first ACS? Um, uh, my sleeping mat was... The meet and greet. Uh, my she was my, so no, done. I said I didn't go. My sleeping mat was finished. Oh, oh you slept oh, okay, I thought okay. you slept at the event. Yeah, no, 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 I, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was like, this guy's no, finished. I, I did plan to go, but I think I just slept. I just ended up falling asleep. Mm. Because I think I'd start because... um. We have been engaged in quite a few extracurricular activities um, at night time. Um, my sleep pattern was finished. I just wasn't awake during it. So I didn't actually attend ACS until a couple of events in, I think. So I think it might have been end of no, October. as the first event I went to. Um, okay. And again, I didn't really go with any expe- expectation. I think I went with um, Toby and Taff. Yeah. So I literally just went for bands. I didn't really have any expectations of ACS, to be fair. But it was okay. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed it still. Was the first event that, like, lecture when we are like sat in that lecture room. Yeah, yeah. And then it Taff. Was, it was like the back, uh, I think it was like a back chat type thing. Yeah, and Taff was a champion for what? Uh, first of all, right, listen. <laughs> actually, let's get into ACS. Yeah, let's get into ACS properly. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's actually explain what happened. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. We're not going to graze over. Oh, know. Pretty much uh, what was happening yeah. is because um, there was quite a bit of tension in the room between um, the guys and girls during this ACS oh. meeting. <laughs> and we're having like, we, no, and we're having like, we're having a, we're having like a, um, a debate type of event, a back chat type of thing. And Taff took upon it, took a, took the mantle upon himself to be the champion for the females. Okay. So he um, said some things that I wouldn't say they're incorrect, but... I just said some shit, yeah, that no, no, mandem no. didn't agree with. Taff, you were trying. Yeah. Taff, no, Taff, Taff, no, Taff you're no, forcing no, no. I was man. doing my thing. No, Taff yeah. was, And the mandem said that I was selling out. Playing point black Taff period, man. Taff was Let's forcing on. I don't know what's no, going on. No, because it, <laughs> it wasn't even anything serious. These were like trivial topics. Like what? It wasn't anything serious. Like what, Tom? it wasn't anything serious it was trivial topics Taff decided to um, even though there was more than enough girls to speak for themselves and they were Taff also took it upon himself to start speaking for himself so he so we kicked him off the, out of the guy's side of the room okay. told him to go sit over with the girls All right. then he realised um, it wasn't it wasn't you know what he was doing wasn't working he tried to come back to the guy's side of the room we were like not happening big right, a few there. things with this Uni Chronicle episode yeah as you can see if this is your first time watching you can already tell that Tom likes to add a lot of seasoning in his oh you're in terrible his story. Toby am I lying he likes that's to add why seasoning I heard. in the story. I'm not gonna lie I came through that's why I heard Toby you weren't even there but that's why I heard oh, I don't know this is tough man stop because you can ask any can, you can ask any of my friends that were there they would say the exact same thing this is mad don't do that but anyway we'll let you lot the viewers decide like what's, what really happened it's tough really you get me <laughs> if you're seeing this and you were there that day I need you to back me because you can't let my man put some next level seasoning in this story. The comments are going to be empty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, a bit of background, um, just to elaborate on what Mo said in the beginning of the episode. Um, we were, at one point, we were all committee members. Just for clarification, you lot were Newcastle committee. Still me are. and Tom were um, a Northumbria committee for ACS. <laughs> So the ACSs you attended, just for clarification, they were both um, Newcastle, the first ones you attended, or were they Northumbria? Yeah, they were. Oof. Mine was Newcastle. Maybe mine was Northumbria, I can't lie. I think I missed the meeting, I can't remember why, mm-hmm. but yeah. Okay, and then Tom, the first one was Northumbria as well. Then. Yeah. Yeah, um, so with the good thing about Northumbria and Newcastle is that the ACS is like, f- there's, it's very friendly, like the, we, we work together. Like there's always collaborations going on between the U- the two unis. It's not like oh fuck them and they're in Newcastle, fuck them and they're not somewhere. I don't know if other universities or other cities with multiple universities have that dynamic, but with Newcastle, the ACSs do work together, especially when it's um for clubbing events. The both unis will get the committees and then they'll organize and say, cool, we're going to this club for ACS. 
you lot come in, you guys get discount and all that stuff there. Or we're having a take me out, come down to our ACS. So like the ACS is you'll get to see every black person that's in ACS from both unis. There's no exclusion. There's no toxic rivalry. Unless you're talking about the sports events and all the other yeah. stuff that's going on. <laughs> yeah. you, but you need that, bro. <laughs> but what would you guys say your favorite ACS event is? Oof. I would personally, if we're not including clubbing events, because mm-hmm. club yeah. can be fun. Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah. it's pretty much always fun. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah. I'm saying take me out. Take me out. Yeah. Why? Why is it take me out? <laughs> I think it's, I think it's always exciting. Even the way that was adapted this year for for the whole pandemic thing. Yeah, I think it was still entertaining. Not because of the the way that the committee set up in in the first place, but the comment section, like that was running live throughout the whole event, was was jokes. Okay. And every year it is it is fun. Like it's entertaining. Putting people on stage, making they're either making a joke out of themselves or they're being clowned by the audience. It's entertaining. No, nah, that's true. I like the ACS events with food, fam. Which is, I can't lie. <laughs> 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 no, listen, if I get, You're if waiting I get, to say that. Word. Hold on, hold on. I, I need to speak to you. Don't, don't break eye contact. Listen to me very carefully. Oh my God. As an ACS committee member, it hurts me when I know that there's only going to be a good turnout when there's food. Because man them... Yeah, they only show up when there's food, fam. When you're when you're an ACS committee member, this is if you want to join the ACS committee and you're watching this video, yeah. Listen, just make your peace with the fact that most people are gonna turn up when there's food, fam. You're gonna promote your ACS event, like guys, it's take me out, Black History Month. You know, we're trying to uplift the culture, do all this good stuff for the community, and man are like, but is there food though? Like, what's the jollof saying? What's the jerk chicken saying? No one cares, bro. Like it, honestly, it's painful that man them do that. And I'm Mandem. I can't yeah, lie. Mandem, okay. <laughs> I can't lie. I've been oh. on both sides. <laughs> I've been on both sides of the team. <laughs> I've been the guy asking about food. And I've been the guy that's like, bro, why do you always need food to come to these events, fam? Like, you have food at home. You get me? So that, but in me in yeah. first year, that was me that, okay, cool. Is there food? That, this is after the first ACS event where I'm okay. like, cool, I met people and da, da, da. Okay. So that's like, oh, there's no food. Mm, I'm not really feeling it. And uh, it's just... It just is what it is that like, people always be people like people will always turn mm. up more with the food incentive than they would without the food incentive. It's annoying, but it is what it is. But um, to go back really? to what my favorite event is, it's um, I'd say it was the food tasting uh, event or something. <laughs> so back to food then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what's your story? Wait, the food. Well, I just want to go back to that. The food tasting event. Like what was that? Um, it was food from different places in Africa. Oh right, really? yeah, club yeah. Event, Northumbria, huh? Which one? In Northumbria. Are you talking about the one that was in club? In club? Or no, no, it wasn't in club. No, no, no. Was that, this in... one was in um the student uh, union building for Northumbria. Was that first year? Mm, I think it was second year. All oh, right. Yeah, huh. yeah. Oh damn. Was that ACS? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Maybe just show up to a random event. Then. Hey man, there was black people and there was food. ACS. All right, Toby, what's yours? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's shocking. What do you oh mean? no! Oh, I'm not sitting here next to this dog. <laughs> no, no, it's not me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But um, I'd say mine same same as Mo's, man. There's something interesting about seeing people pursue love, whether or not you can actually even call it love or just lust or whatever. Yeah. It makes it entertaining, and just seeing people's attempts, what they come out with, people's responses. It's like. ACS and like the vibe ACS brings and everything ACS has to like uh, just put on the table plus this thing of love, which I think part of the human condition is like to seek out love and sort of like um, seek out romance as well and enjoy seeing romance happen and having that on top of just ACS as well. Like it's just something that's it's entertaining to watch, man. And we've had like some classics uh, like classic um shows uh during take me out for example most poems um i'm not sure if the yeah, people are going to gonna... go into that most skimmed very nicely over that but don't worry we got a, a <laughs> I didn't, very yeah, detailed I didn't touch yeah, on it. I didn't yeah touch you on did it. you did you do we did. have any yeah. videos of most poems that we can edit in yes we do like yeah. the video will be edited over our heads of mo performing his poem would you like to repeat the poem more for the class yes. uh, actually well maybe we could save that for instagram man if we yeah are, maybe yeah. i'll save for insta Oh, yeah. we send it to the Instagram. Yeah, we'll yeah. Instagram. All right, fair enough. Uh, so if you're a YouTube listener and you really want to know the poem that Mo said... In, I said two, actually. In front of too, too many two. people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this guy, after that, after Mo said that poem, yeah, he went off and said, 
I'm a shy introvert. Like, bro, no shy introvert gets up and says the poem that you said, fam. Like, His that, poems were quite, quite explicit. To me. Bro, he said the some first amateur. One. The first one. He said yeah. some amateur porn poem, fam. Like, it was disgusting. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. It was. Filled. I would say it was erotic <laughs> and detailed. Okay. <laughs> and the other one was very romantic. If you actually know, what, I, I'm, I'm covered. Yeah, just leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that doesn't mean anything to any any of you girls out there, anyway. But yeah, and shout out Terrell as well, man. He's just things first year too. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, Terrell, opinion, so. I think that's the best part about taking me out as well, because a lot of people understand it's not that deep, so they go on stage doing the most just for entertainment purposes. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's enjoyable still. Yeah, like and they they're trying to like portray why people should pick them in a sense. But also as well, they could have that entertainment value of like, oh, this is me really. And getting to know your like committee members or well, just members of like the committee. Yeah. Like it's something fun to watch and it gets people to bond in a sense too. So yeah. Toby, you went up on Ace um Take Me Out as well, didn't you? I was on the panel. I wasn't I never really went out. Bro, I went on the panel. And you know what? what happened? You got a date. <laughs> I did get a date. I did get a date. You know did what you, happened with my date? What happened? I didn't get any food, Tom. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is what we need to sort out with ACS. Let's air out our wait, grievances. Hold on, we tap, said the good stuff. Let's air it out properly. Is that why you joined the ACS committee to make sure you get your food? <laughs> Tom, uh, it was too late by then. The year had passed. And I never saw the girl again. But listen, what we need to do... Why do you think that is, by the way? Is it because you went back up oh. for more? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, one needs to, no one needs to talk oh. about that. No one needs to talk oh, about that. Oh, no, no. Let's talk about it still. Yeah. Let's talk about, about what you need to say. Just to clear that up, Taff got a match. Uh, with the ACS thing, I'm pretty sure. What well, you're the one who showed was you were a contestant, right? Yeah, I was okay. a contestant. No, you were a panelist, weren't you? No, 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 I wasn't. So wait, oh, wait. as a contestant, actually, you got a match and you went back no, on stage. No, 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 no. Oh, you were yeah. a panelist. No, he, was, I, a, he no, was a panelist. He was he a panelist when he got a match. He started off as panelist, so he got a match. Okay, right. and then he was like, "Cool, I choose this girl in it to I be with me, choose. whatever." And then they went off with Taffy up after. However, okay. Toby, then, I think there's something we should say. I don't know why Taff couldn't pop his balloon because he was really trying to that day. <laughs> Oh, so you trying to so pop the balloon on her? He was boy, trying to up, pop. He couldn't well, he pop because it's like the final two. He was really trying to pop that balloon. It wasn't popping, big man. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you the That's truth. Yeah, funny. That's the the problem with um that particular ACS event <laughs> was that they weren't being consistent in um how they were running the event, and there was no uniformity in the the steps that were being taken. Yeah, so they did the quest. They did the final questions for um the the plan the panelists before, right? So then I was expecting, cool, they'll do the same thing for us. But apparently they were trying to rush the thing and like get me off the stage, get everyone off the stage and get the next people on. So they didn't do that step. So I was like, I'm not really feeling the, the person that's on stage right now. You get me? So I was like, cool. Next, when the, when the questions come, I'll ask something, pop the balloon and then, you know, I'll go off. There was there wasn't that. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 if you, no, if you saw the state of panic, <laughs> Taff was in. You know, uh, Taff was looking around like, "What the fuck is going on?" I should have put my balloon. It was on a level, yeah. If you weren't feeling her from early, why didn't you just pop the balloon? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll, I don't I'll know. tell you. I'll tell you. I'd love to tell you a story. I'll tell you. 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 Taff wanted to see himself as an option in in a lady's life for once. So that's why I didn't pop the balloon. Damn. Anyway, Damn. It's, the energy, it's the energy we're Damn. taking this pod. You're finished. You're a silly fool. You're finished. Yellow bastard. <laughs> you're done. You're done. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, very humble of you. Anyway, so that's what I was saying. Wait, hold on. Right? For Spotify listeners, Tav called Mo a yellow bastard because he's wearing yellow. I thought we should clarify that. Oh, yeah. For fuck's yeah. sake, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> No, because the Spotify listeners <laughs> can't see what Mo's wearing. Oh, right. Fair oh, enough. Fair hopefully enough. they figured that out. <laughs> if they come, uh, I mean, this is just... <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, yeah. So it's tough. obviously Taff went through whatever thought process he was going through. Mm -hmm. And then later, so he was a panelist at that point. And then when it was time for the girls to... Um, oh, no, when it was time for the guys, sorry, to show up as contestants... Then who do we find, you know, showing up as a contestant? Taff, who already had the match previously. So. All right. So the mentality behind why I went up again was because I wasn't happy as we've established with my other one. Did you chat to her about I that? Thought, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that I could go up again, you know, and have a second chance. Because in life, it's important to have second chances. You understand? Did you chat to her about that? About what? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you were going back Say on less. stage. 
I mean, Say less said. she wasn't in the vicinity for, for her to get that alert, Mo. So I Did you look really... for her? Hmm? Did you look for her? I mean, I turned right, left, you know. <laughs> look, look, stop, look, listen. You know, I did I, the bare minimum and then said, all right, cool. All right, cool I'm safe. Go. But in all seriousness, I do wonder how she's doing these days, you know? Oh, really? Do you even know her name? I'm pretty sure. No. Um, <laughs> she's graduated. Huh? She's graduated. She was actually the president of the VCS at the time. Okay, yeah, I wasn't yeah. gonna say that, but why are you being like this, Toby? I'm sorry, well, but I didn't, say no okay. I didn't say any you names. You got a date with the president of the ACS? You're, you need to relax, fam. Like, what I, was you fucking, why would you like I was that? the first man of a fucking ACS, <laughs> bro. That's cool. I missed the opportunity. That's cool. <laughs> oh, you're silly. You're yeah, silly. That's cool. it's, it's, I it's, wasn't it. gonna say no one, but that's cool. He doesn't but, care about um, clout. Take me out is such a big thing when it comes to ACS. Oh, it's, 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 it's literally a phenomenon, fam. Take me out and um, culture clash. Is it? That, that's Afro clash. Event. Afro oh, clash. Yeah. yeah. Afro clash. Like those are like the few like big events that ACS is normally throw along with um, the back chats, which also speaks and is a testament to the cultural phenomenon that back chat was and the impacts it had in terms of like the black community and all those things there. So just to give flowers to Backchat for starting their thing and then influencing ACS, because real talk, I don't know what ACSs were doing before Backchat, because that's all we do now, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know what was going on. That's <laughs> true, though. I can't but, call um, it. Yeah, but speaking about, speaking on that and how ACSs have done the Backchats, the Take Me Outs and da-da-da, I feel like, um, which is where, as a committee member as well in ACS, I think I failed in that role as well, because at the time I was vice president, of the ACS, but it was it was a small role that I was doing. But um, I feel like there needs to be more innovation, and maybe I'm not the person to get that idea. But I do feel that there's a need there to be like, cool. These are the events we have, and everyone pretty much knows these events. How do we take this further? Cool. We have the 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 Afro Clash. We have the back chats. We have the the food and all that stuff there. But what other things can we do? Can we take trips? Uh, I remember at one point people were talking about a- ACS um, Afro Nation. The, that was something I was in talks Jesus. about happening and executing that. But yeah. I look at other societies and you have the fucking travel society that goes random places in England and they get and they manage to land sponsorships and the uni is able to put money in their accounts to in order yeah. to do that stuff. And I feel like ACS can do that as well. You get me? It's just a matter of uh, who's that person really, and that that could be you, the viewer. <laughs> Dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's very inspirational, man. Very inspirational. You get me. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. You mentioned that because I'm pretty sure, um, like us as a committee, like me and Mo, yeah. uh, we're a part of this year's ACS committee. Oh, COVID finished societies. Oh Lord. COVID Rest in peace for every society man. that didn't fucking land. <laughs> Honestly, I no. wish I, could, I wish we could give more insight as to no. oh what running societies like and whatever, but COVID yeah. didn't let us experience that at all. Not at all. Running yeah. a society is talking about cool. There's an ACS event, guys. We need to have food. The, you know, actually, no. The way we even did our ACS was hectic, fam. Because you're really? talking about when we had a um, a food uh, an event that required to, food to be there, we weren't even getting um, chefs to make it. It was cool. There's food. We need this food. You need to wake up in the morning, yeah? Get the chicken from the butchers early. Otherwise, it runs out, yeah? Cool. You run there, get the chicken. You have to come back and go to fucking Portland Green Accommodation and use some student a comm stove to make the chicken, yeah? I remember it was fucking... Shout out Benji, shout out PJ, shout out Richie, yeah? And whoever else helped them, man. Oh. Like, <laughs> it was them, man. Making the chicken. I remember one time I had to do it myself. I mean, cut. I didn't know chicken had, like, you know, them strands, them wings. Taff, <laughs> the, Jesus Christ. You know, I, was actually, I was actually waiting for Taff to mention my name. You know the funny thing? Because Taff mentioned, Taff didn't mention it. I, I did the most work out of it. Oh, oh. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was really just sitting back. Because <laughs> Taff, you say you had to run to the butchers. I was running to the butchers Tom, for every event. All right, shout out Tom for running to the butchers to get that chicken done. But I'm talking about the, the, this one specific Shout event. Shout out Tom, man. Look at this. Look and the this. other events that food was there, like whether they're like, oh, cool, you guys need to make the chicken. Benji, how far with the chicken? These times, these, these guys are fucking up their comm kitchen, yeah, to make ACS food that man are going to have to probably carry to the ACS them no, themselves. Because the, their, their, cl- their comm was the closest to, AC, mm-hmm. to the university. That's yeah. why we have to use their kitchen. True. And there, there, there was other people yeah. that would help. I remember um, some girl would make puff puff. Um, I don't know how she made it. I don't know if we even paid. Did we pay her to make Puff Puff? I can't remember who it was, bro. Um, Vanessa, I think, yeah. She should make Puff Puff, yeah. Oh, no, she just did that as a favour. 
Oh, fair enough. Like you see, you got you got people that are kind like that that will just contribute and help because really and truly, the ACS isn't that funded because I did mention that the travel societies that yeah. get money, to, you know, because they're not doing it out of their own pockets. Like we were sometimes, how many, how much of your own money you put into that Jeez. or how many other ACS um, members put in their own money to get small things, whether Me, it was... personally, I've, it's in the 200 range. 200 it's of your own piece? range, I think. Fucking hell, fam. Yeah, that's not too much. Money, okay? man. Money, man. Are you okay? Fine. 200 pounds of student finance isn't that much? <laughs> 200 pounds across the whole year. I cash at me two hundred pounds. Never. Okay. There you, there you go. <laughs> but for what? Man? There you go. <laughs> but no, what? but like at the end of the day, if this is a society you care about. And you want to see it do well. Mm-hmm. If you can't get the funding, I don't think two hundred is crazy. It's still a lot of money for sure. But across the whole year, I wouldn't say it's crazy. Yeah. But like in the end, if your society does well, you always get these numbers at events. People are enjoying it. They're receptive to what you're doing. Two hundred pounds. I'll gladly put it down. If I could have put two hundred pounds down at the beginning of this academic year for the, for our for our year of ACS, which is this current year, I'd have done it. Cap. I would have done it because right now <laughs> what we've got going from now from what September to now is is, is BS. It's, it's shit. Uh, so go into that a bit more. Like, what is it like? Because me and Tom were in ACS before COVID. Yeah. So you lot are having to face the online events, which I'm pretty sure everyone else is having to face and run. Yeah. Well, what's that like? Weren't you guys still in? Uh, sorry, just were you guys still impacted by COVID somewhat? Because I'm pretty sure halfway through the year you were cut off, right? Um, yeah, it was like it was like um, March time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, so it was like. But towards. we got a few things. Yeah. yeah, you got the the most most of the events out. The biggest one that you guys missed was the the ball. True. And, oh, we missed. No, the ball we, is um. That's Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, we, that's missed, we missed the all white oh. party. True. Oh. So, like, the big events that we have are the Newcastle yeah. ACS ball. And um, for Northumbria, it was um, all white party. Mm. Black people love all white, fam. I don't well, understand. We, push that to we need to pick different view. colours. No, but it looks nice enough. <laughs> it doesn't. No one needs to be wearing white denim jeans and white. No, a looks, white dress looks, looks nice, nice, yeah. But it's a bit weird in the party. I don't know. Shirt. All white parties to me is just weird. I think we need to pick different colors for that shit. The all green party, the all blue party. All yellow. That's so all weird. Yellow, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, actually, fucking one color parties are, are canceled anyway, man, in my opinion. All right, cool. So just for a party then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um, but, but running a society during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, Mo, you're the social sec. So. I won't lie to you. Uh, <laughs> The enthusiasm I went into running the the social events was was very high because initially I didn't even that's not even the role I wanted I wanted to be treasurer, but I was beat out uh, by a competitor, you don't need to say who. the current treasurer anyway. So um, got social sec. I was like after I did some talking with some friends, they were like, yeah, you should do it. Cool. Yeah. Then over summer things seem to be getting with seems to be getting better with COVID. Yeah. So yeah. you haven't eat out to help out. People are doing their thing. Everything's been opened up again after the initial lockdown from March. Mm-hmm. I'm like, at this rate, should things continue to go steady? Even if you can't do events in person straight away in September, we can build into it. Yeah. Come September, they start locking off everything. <laughs> everything gets shut down. Yep. Can't do any in-person events. Yep. Which is really a fat on the face because just before then, we'd done, uh, what, what was it called? I'd spent the, I spent the summer with the vice president of, it, of ACS, Cynthia, um, sorting out some events. Shout out Cynthia. Yeah, shout hold out tight, Cynthia. Cynthia. Don't know where like. she is, but hold tight. <laughs> <laughs> She's your next door neighbor. Bro. Shout out to your cloud. But yeah, so... <laughs> serious, man. Fuck it. So uh, me and Cynthia spent time organizing the events that we wanted to run throughout the entire year. This, this schedule, the calendar. And then she spent more time in particular on the educational events because we wanted to do a lot more educational events this year as well. Which we have done, to be fair, or and she's organised that. Um, credit to her. Mm-hmm. But all the other events, those were essentially thrown out the window. Um, especially what I would call is one of the crucial ones, which is the meet and greet, because we couldn't do a meet and greet, and Bro, well, an in-person meet and greet, and then a <laughs> online meet and greet. To me, just seemed dead. Mm-hmm. Who's coming to that? Who's vibing? Who's get? How are you getting to know people over over the internet? Yeah, like there is no. For me, there is no fun way or entertaining way to get that way to get that done so we didn't do that and then contact with uni was kind of stiff they would message us and, and toby's a secretary so he'll let you know more but they would let us know that okay so this is what's allowed this is what, what's not allowed yeah 
And then we were just like trying to get around, or so far, we've just been trying to get around those restrictions and trying to work within them. And it's just been tough. It's been poor. We've only, we've like, the only event I would say I'm happy with per se is Take Me Out for sure. Yeah. Um, Cause even though it wasn't like smooth, smooth, there was still some hiccups like technically. Um, people enjoyed it. And then mm-hmm. other than that, maybe the, one of the quizzes we hosted last semester and the Among Us, even though we didn't get, we only got like two full rooms of Among Us, so like 20 plus people. Yeah. It wasn't crazy, but people enjoyed it. But when you're doing online events, it's hard to do events that slap, in my opinion, especially for ACS. True. But yeah, especially when a good focus of our <coughs> events usually are club events. So, yeah, unless everyone wants to elaborate more. but <laughs> um, Yeah, I think just the peakest thing was that level of uncertainty of like what the situation with COVID was. Because yeah. I think... um. Definitely for uni, like we had a lot of meetings where we're like, okay, things are looking up. We can get planning on some stuff. Even like a simple event, like oh, having um, what was it now? We wanted to go outside and have like a sports, a sports day, yeah, yeah, sports, sports day. day kind of like even that was something that was like, okay, if all else fails, like we've got that in the hopes. Even that we couldn't do because we're in March right now and we still can't meet other households like that. Yep. So. It was just that level of like uncertainty really that made like the whole process frustrating. And I was sec- well, I am secretary, so um, I was in contact with SU a lot as well, like how they're handling like the regulations of COVID, um, such and such. And even SU as well was like um, we're uncertain of things, but they made it clear the fact that like okay, cool, like face to face events can't happen, so meet and greet couldn't happen. As Mo said, uh, just like having one online. To me, I know for a fact that, as Mo said, it'd be dead. And um, relying on it to be okay would feel like it's just taking advantage of sort of, I guess, um, like that fresher's, like, not desperation, but sort of like want to uh, participate in an event like that. So I guess it just wouldn't have slapped, but we would probably still may have had a turnout because people just want to meet people. But even then, it's like... It just wouldn't have been beneficial to do that at all. So that's definitely been a struggle um, with yeah, just the size as a whole um, in COVID. Rest in peace to the fallen freshers. Yeah. Uh, that's drinking what I- memory of you. Your freshers was taken fucking viciously Always by got COVID. To do the most. <laughs> I, no, <laughs> man. I want to do a oh, moment of silence bro. for them, man, because if yeah. you... Th- like, no, we'll right. do an episode on our freshers experiences yeah yeah, like yeah facts. all that stuff there but so, so to let you love me to let you man know yeah. like what you missed and hopefully <laughs> to let you man know what you missed <laughs> <laughs> and oh, hopefully gosh. um if you're watching this oh. and you're not in newcastle or northumbria or in the north yeah i haven't even started your acs like acs is just mad freshers are just mad you get me it, and university is a place where you come out and you find yourself and you self-discovery and all that good shit yeah and if you miss that period, just know it's not the end of the world. There'll always be other events and it's hard because university is very easy. It's very easy for you to isolate yourself or be in your room all the time. I know for a fact there's probably some freshers here that came in last year when COVID was out and they couldn't go anywhere. So you know, that means that that's a new cohort of students away from home. Yeah, so some people should have stayed home, fam, like with this whole COVID thing. But some people leave home, come to this place now, and the country says you can't go out. So you don't even know people to say, hey, do you, do you want to hang out? Can I go to your house? Can I sneak to your house? You can't even sneak to anyone's house because you don't know them. At most, you probably like know someone in your accommodation, maybe. But like, I really do feel out for the freshers that um, came out in 2020. But for the 2021 freshers, things are looking up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, pick the oh, moon back up. Uncertainty <laughs> again. <time. laughs> uncertainty again. Yeah. That's how we felt. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. No, but the next but, fresh is going to be mad deep because there's one yeah. group of freshers that didn't even get to enjoy. Yeah. So wait, group, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? What, what did, did you say? I said there's one group of freshers that didn't get to enjoy. I thought he said there's one group of freshers that he didn't get to enjoy. I was like, yo. Okay. Oh, like, yo. Same difference, man. I'm just very happy that Mo heard me. But either way, uh, yo, like, anyway, no, because there's one group of freshers that didn't even get to in, like, in really experienced mm-hmm. freshers. Mm-hmm. So tw- the freshers this year is going to be completely mad. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, social life is important. Like you, 
a, a human should not be in isolation for too long. Yeah. Like, period. Like, you shouldn't be on your ones for too long. We're, we're social people, we're social beings, so you need to be out there speaking to people, whether, even if it's just FaceTiming a lot of random people about blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that the people that were locked up um, when they came here probably went back home till things get cleared up. <laughs> but um, yeah, this yeah. has been Slider's podcast. Wait, wait. We have a special segment for you. Wait. ACS Confessions. Mo, <laughs> I have ACS Confessions out here right, right now. Cool, cool. Oh, there just oh, before yeah. we get into that, though, just before we get into was that, that, I just want, I, that was not planned. Okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was off script. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we get into that, I just want to say that <laughs> last year, our ACS in Newcastle in the day, we had a great president in our friend, Terrell. Uh, you might know him as Background Shout Marshall. Shout out Background Marshall. Background Marshall. ACS Marshall. president. Yeah. Shout out Tom, ACS president. Facts. Shout out Manny, ACS president. And that's all I know. Big facts. At the end of the day, like, the, um, they did a great job, especially in Terrell, <laughs> in passing on the hope that ACS can be greater than it was the year before. True. And that's one of the reasons... As to why I wanted to apply in the first place for this year, obviously Corona like flipped the script on that. And now would you guys join ACS again? Like, would you keep? I would. It's not um, like corrupt. Can you even do that? I don't think you can do that. You can, you run, can. run again. No, you can run again. You can run again. Oh, it's voting. You can't, you uh, can't. Considering that, real talk, man didn't do anything this ACS. It's, it's the man that were doing Zoom calls for ACS, you lot were chilling. Let's I'm not, not gonna, lie. I'm not gonna lie. You man should run again. I would. Run I would again. I'm in, I'm interested in it, but at the end of the day, I also want to. Um, since they gave us up, I wouldn't. Since we can't really talk to the freshers now and be like, okay, cool, you've seen what ACS can be, now do better. Because mm, nah. they have not seen what ACS can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've seen That's the dregs point. and fucking at least bottom of the save, barrel shit when it comes to ACS. At least you might save money this year. Not even exactly. bottom of the barrel, yeah. like, it's they've just seen, not they've fair. Seen, they've it's seen not nothing. Right. They've seen nothing. They haven't seen anything. So at the end of the day, yeah. what I want them to, like, what I hope, like, when we start the application process, yeah. Yeah. What I want to give and pass on to them is cash for one, since we've got bear that left over mm. yeah. from the right. year before. Because you haven't, like haven't I made said, anything. 200 cash out. Used, not my cash, ACS money. Don't be trying to what do, do some fraudulent things. What are you yeah? trying to what do? do, do what do you mean? I'm just trying to get a little. And then two, we can <laughs> yeah. obviously we'll let them know what ACS is, ACS is in the past and previously and how they can do that. We can give them that briefing on how to do that, like a little dossier kind of thing. Yeah. And also well, our own dossier. personal ideas of what we wanted to do this year. So like, I'm just going to drop the word dossier, not. Not explain for the people. A dossier. You don't know what a dossier is, bro. Is that English or French? That is English. It's an English word, but I'm sure it probably has French roots. So what does dossier mean? It's like a uh, a book of sorts that explains how to do something. So an instruction manual. Like but you chose to say dossier. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Less dumb. Less Less Yo, dumb. dumb. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. On level. You always have niggas that have to flex on the people. <laughs> No, I didn't know that. He's, he's, he's how educated. Was that was he's that how educated. On a level, was that even flexing, bro? If you guys don't know no, what no, dossier no, means, no, I'll slap no, up the definition no, listen, in editing. We don't look down on people trying to expand the vocabulary. Mo, do oh, you? that's because Tom's in the same page. But listen, yeah, <laughs> you can't let man them like this go around talking about dossier. Like, listen, yeah. so wait, you wait, should have said it. I swear you might know what dossier is, fam. No, you're like, all right, cool. So we drop a little dossier. Thank you. No, no, Tav, Tav, stop trying to mock Mo because you're always mocking him. No, no, because you're always out here with these mad analogies, trying to look like some philosopher, moving like a manual Kant, bro. It's manual Kant. Who the hell is that? Kant, Kant, Kant. Can't. KNT, my guy. Who the hell's that? Hey, man. At some point, you just got to stop talking. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, let's also, as well, this. sorry, um, just like one bit tired on that as well. Um, Obviously, like, as a fresher, well, as a fresher this year, I guess it's the message to the freshers, but pretty much, as, even like talking from the perspective of like Mo, really, uh, Mo's someone who didn't really experience ACS like that first year. So, I guess they really want you to dread, like, no matter what society you're in. I don't really want you to dread the fact that you've missed out a lot in first year. Because at the end of the day, these are experiences that can be re-experienced, I guess, in ASMR. future years of ACS. That's so, nice. yeah, I, I guess, like, you shouldn't really dwell too much on that. Obviously, it's a shit year. It's been a shit year for all of us. Yeah, but, um, yeah we'll move past that. Before we yeah. carry on, can we, can we address the fact that Taf's out here trying to do his ASMR thing. I don't know what the hell Tom's talking No, about. we watched the footage. Taf has been whispering into the microphone yeah. at certain times. You lot, and just you, pouring you, that drink in front of the microphone. It's, it's not 4K, but we've got it's you. Tap. Tap. I'm no, sorry, Tom, to interrupt you with that <laughs> no, nonsense, you. Toby. Like, Toby, you saw, you see, you've seen <laughs> him do it. No, you have anyway. seen I didn't see him. He has been doing it. Listen, yeah, if I did what you're saying I did, yeah, the listeners will fucking say it in the comments. Let's bet £10. I put £10 on it. £10? I put £10. 
Listen. Swear I'll shake your hand right now. Ten shake my hand right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Allow the allow shaking his hand because you'll fuck up the, the camera and the focusing and that. Yeah. But the video is here. We can see it is proof. Tough. You might want to do that. <laughs> I'm not encouraging it. We don't, we don't gamble on, tough, on this channel. Yes, 10 pounds. Bad habits. Bad habits. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yes, 10 pounds. Shake more hands. I don't know. This is the deal. Shake though. more hands. Hold I'm on, hold on, hold on. This is the deal though. If the if someone says in the comment section, not one of you, man, because I know you lot a little, little, little bit. No, because we yeah. saw you do listen, it, bro. Oh, listen, no, you're yeah. terrible. If a listener, a random person that we don't know, says that Taff did the ASMR thing in the comment section, yeah, because we know the attention spans low. Wait, no hold, one's wait, watching till like wait, hold the forty eight minute. Yeah, why does it matter? So no one's gonna wait, say it. Oh, you're ridiculous. No one's gonna say it. I, I put if if there's a comment Fuck that says you, that Taff done this. That, that, that tough done that, yeah? I'll give you the 10 pounds. Terrible, I'll bro. give you the 10 pounds on this. <laughs> <laughs> right, bring up the confessions. Bring yeah, up yeah, the right, real right, confessions. Let's introduce the segment, yeah? Uh, right now, because we're talking about ACS, um, ACS confessions. The whole time you probably saw me on my phone, yeah? I was trying to find Newcastle or Northumbria confessions. And luckily, our uni is not tapped. I literally put into it ACS Confessions Newcastle Northumbria nothing came up yeah so there's no like weird people from Newcastle or, or that area so uh, I'm just going to start with a, a minor one yeah alright cool read out 10 for the people I used to like. think Derby legit used different form of currency instead of pounds when yeah. I told this girl she called me stupid and slapped me Derby uni what the hell's Derby. Yeah. It's spelled D E R B Y. Where so is it? Derby. So you might, it's called, cool, it's pronounced Derby, but it you might. In just, England. It's in England oh, okay, somewhere. Okay, okay. You right, might man, think of it as Derby. All right, cool. So Different the, currency. The, yeah. like, let's skip that one, fam. I don't know. I only hear some of the recce ones still. Okay, here we go. Here's a good one. Uh, oh, God. Pretty oh. sure this is Birmingham Uni. Okay, so Brum? I know my boyfriend only started posting me on his snap again because he's blocked certain girls from seeing his story, but he stops posting me on Insta and it makes me feel like shit. Stupid, I know. He stopped posting you on Insta so you feel like shit. Yeah. Well done to the guy. How peng is she? Think about it like this. Hold break, on. Break up with Let's him. reverse engineer the logic now. If she's peng, right? Yeah. He probably doesn't want to post her because he knows there's vultures in the streets. Oh, you want to die for that pussy? I, oh. like, it, sure, like, there's probably vultures on the streets, fam. Okay. So he's probably like, listen, I need to hide you from the world, not the world from you. You understand. But communicating your relationship. That's not it. it. What it is is that if you don't have him on Snapchat, you won't see the story. You might not have him on Instagram, but you can still see his stories. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm personally going to say it's not even that deep. Because, okay, I don't obviously know what this guy's like, yeah? But I don't post my Insta. I don't post anything on my Insta, though. Scum. So it really, de <laughs> no. it really depends on whether he posts on Insta regularly or not. If he posts himself on Insta regularly, yeah, then that's different. Because then he doesn't mind putting his life out there. But if he never posts at all, and his pages dry regardless, then why would you want to be up there? No, but it's about patterns. Like you said, you don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, so we need to always pattern. Your pattern, yeah. like you said, is you don't post. So when you do post, you're breaking your pattern. Exactly. Mm. So yeah. if his pattern is, I post, da, 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 and under these circumstances, and he changes that pattern, it's an irregularity. So he has to, so, so she has to be like, okay, that's not usual. Da, 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 so da. like moving out of character. Yeah, out of character. Like yeah. if, if you break the pattern, she's going to spot that you broke the pattern. And if the girl feels uncomfortable about it, speak up. You yeah. have to encourage it. Speak up. If you have oh. an issue, speak up, my G. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. well, address, no, communicate, address your issue. Yeah. In a, no, in a matured fashion. Yeah, you don't right. need to come on him on some cruddy thing. You don't it? need that. Just yeah. tell him, well, go on. Ask yeah. him. If his, if his answer is good enough for you, so be it. If not, you're not being chained down. You can leave. Communication. Right. Hey, man, yeah. next one. Communication would be very useful with this one. Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, um, I've been stalking my ex's socials for nearly one year now. When I open my eyes in the morning, the first thing I do is put her at into her and go through her new likes and retweets. Liverpool Uni. He's been doing what with what? <laughs> he's essentially, yeah, he's been stalking her socials for a year. Yeah. Every time he wakes up in the morning, he puts her at into her and then looks at her new retweets. I wonder what's like going to happen when she starts talking to someone new. <sighs> Wait, are I wonder they what's together? Gonna... They're not together. They're, it's ex the ex. they've been exes for a year. I wonder what's going to happen when he starts talking to someone. They've been new. exes. Yeah. Oh, you're weird. You're dumb. You're so dumb. Wait, sorry. You're what, so what, stupid. What? You're, you're such a dumb. Now listen. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Oh. He's oh. been stalking his ex. Listen, I was about to go into this thing if it was his girlfriend. You said his ex. Yeah. <laughs> you jobless biscuit, bro. You jobless, jobless biscuit. You were sent 
for education and to better your life, fam. Your life. And you're out here talking about I'm stalking my ex's life. That's the type of guy to approach the ex's new man, you know? Does he even have the intelligence to fucking look at her likes and be like, okay, cool. She's probably beating this man, that man, next man. Like, oh, what no, are you looking tough, at his likes, tough, man? No, tough, I, I that, is, that is definitely the type of man to approach the ex's new man. No, I think, no, he's, no, no, I think, he's, I think he's more like, he hasn't, he's not over her yet. What, in the shadows? And so he's just obsessed. So he needs to just move on. He needs to find a way to No, move no, 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 Mo. He's stalking her likes, fam. The average person on Instagram probably has a thousand followers. No, no, tap, tap. Let's say they... He says stalking her likes. Her new likes. No, hold on, no, wait. Listen, listen. Hold on, listen. Yeah, it's on Twitter. Hold on, listen. Yeah, it's on Twitter. Oh, new likes and retweets on Twitter. Oh, likes and retweets on Twitter. Okay. Okay, I thought it was still like... He's still tapped. He's jobless. You can't look... I agree. I agree. A whole year. I agree. A whole year, yeah. A whole year to be that consistent. Because what's he going to do if he fights... What's it's he gonna do with, with what he finds? Yeah, exactly nothing. I don't know, yeah. man. No, he's waiting for that one tweet where she's like, "Oh, new man, who this?" Yeah, new <laughs> man. Like, oh, I got flowers, some shit like that. Valentine's maybe a Valentine's Day tweet or something like that. Okay. That that'll, that'll put him down. He's like, he's definitely gonna. That's ask when he gives he's, up. No, this guy for a year. That's not. That's not in your feelings. That's an obsession. So he's definitely right. gonna. He's I, definitely gonna act. I can't man. lie. Yeah. No, <laughs> he's acting the new man on crud, saying I used to be there. <laughs> that was my. That was, no, I, <laughs> that was my no, I don't see that. I from this guy, this before, guy is here talking on, the... on ACS. No, no, because no, I, I think if it's gone for that long, big man, it's fucking me your psyche, bro. Hold on, before you go into the next one, yeah, listen, it hurts me. The reaction you saw previously, that's not me, fam, but when I see stuff like this, <laughs> <laughs> it hurts me in here to see the man them doing this. You get me? Oh, like, he's down it, bad. it hurts me. He's down yeah. bad. He is. Down, down, bad. You, you understand, like, he's done, fam. Yeah. Sure. It hurts me to see the man them like this, bro. Yeah. Come on, the City Girls are winning, and these are the niggas that they're, they're, they're winning against, fam. So the, <laughs> so the real niggas need to stand up and catch them Ws, because <laughs> these niggas are weak right now. Yeah, you just got to move on, man. And should we do one more for you? Oh, the 10, 10, 10. So yeah. that was, what, third? Yeah, that was the third one. Oh, we're doing 10? Right. Yeah, 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 we got a time, we got time. All right, cool, here's one. Uh, mm, all right. Uh, I wanted I wanted my ex back, but he's been in a relationship since early last year. We ended up at the same uni, so he started cheating on his girlfriend with me since freshers. My period start again, sorry. Tragic. No worries, no worries. Okay. So I wanted my ex back, but he's been in a relationship since last year. We ended up uh, at the same uni, so he started cheating on his girlfriend with me since freshers. My period's two weeks late now, so should I tell him he's going to be a dad or? Not Get a pregnancy test really. before you start trying to give a nigga a heart attack. Yeah. I saw this on Gronish, actually. Gronish? Yeah, if you watch Gronish, you know that Zoe's on crud, same as, you know, Mrs. over here. Like, it's mad. <laughs> 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 it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, get a pregnancy test before you try to give, give someone a heart attack. What are you lot's policies on cheating? Is, is what she's doing No, no, wrong? In, in my opinion, no, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> what's policies on cheating? Yeah, what's your tap, policies on cheating? Tap, like, what? In my opinion, if you're not the one in your relationship, the commitment is not your responsibility. Yeah. That's the moment. Unless, uh, okay, no, hold, hold on, oh, hold on. Not. Unless you have a commitment to the other person as if they're your friend or something, mm. then it's a different situation. No, but of if course you have no not, but you're still a dickhead. I no, don't, I hate fuck. this. Anyone can get it, No, 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 no. Anyone can get it. Tom, 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 this is where we're going to stop you here because everyone's, everyone's trying <laughs> I swear to you, I hate hearing this, this crud. If, wait, wait, if you are unaware that the person that you're, you're, that you're doing stuff with, yeah, is in a relationship, then none of the blame is on you. You are completely unaware. As soon as you know, continue to do that shit, you are trash. Wait. <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. No, 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 I don't give a shit. No, 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 pause. No, pause what? Because I don't understand about this whole, I'm not in a commitment thing, so it's not really my business. No, 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 no. It, it, is, your, your it is your business. Because how would you feel if you were in a relationship, oh. yeah, and your partner's out there doing other things with, with another girl or guy, yeah, and they're like, oh, I'm not in a commitment. What do you want to know? Don't stop being stupid. Think, no, no, no. You stop. You stop. Think, stop. No, no, I back more. I back more. I beg of you. Actually, listen. To me, yeah, because at the end of the day, yeah, Back you can more. either live this life for your own, yeah, and be completely selfish, which, which is what Tom that's what Tom is on. Fuck so, yes, no, no. hold on, fuck no, yes, no, 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 no. no, I am not here to that's consider it. strangers' hold feelings. On. No, I am not here to consider strangers' feelings. My parents did not send me here to consider strangers' feelings. That's not my job. That's they didn't your send you here to be out with no, his girls, no, no, bro. No. He's dumb. <laughs> what's, the, what's the relation? <laughs> no, stop, stop at the end of the day. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's simple, it's simple, Wait, hold on, hold on. It's hold on. simple. Hold on. Cheating is wrong, and you're contributing to cheating. Exactly. Contribute. I'm not contributing to nothing. I'm getting mine. I am How are they cheating? How many other people are, are, are out there in the world, bro? Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. You are so finished, Here's why you're finished. Here's why you're finished. You're done. Listen. If someone, if someone is cheating in their relationship, yeah, yeah. when you commit to someone, mm. 
Mm-hmm. You commit to them. That is their problem. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. I do not make what? that commitment. At the end of the day, whoever is cheating, whoever, whoever, at the end of the day, whoever is cheating is worse, 100%. Yeah. I'm no, not, no, I'm I'm not, not talking about no, who's worse, who's not. Away. I'm talking about if someone else is committed to someone else, yeah, that's your facts. deal. Facts, that's facts. That's your deal. I don't have a deal. I don't know these people, fam. All right, cool. So you're, so, on, you're, on, you're on silliness then? No, no, I'm not on you're silliness. Self, you're a selfish silliness. motherfucker. That's what you're I'm saying. I'm not on you're silliness, selfish, yourself, What yourself. I'm here to say I'm is, tired. if I'm you're tired. doing your thing and you're committing a relationship and you want to see someone else on the side and blah, 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 do your thing because you do not commit to that other person. You're finished. No, uh, no, no, you're no, done. no. It's the way you're saying selfish you're is like done. a bad thing. It's selfish. No, hold on, hold on. You're not going to get nowhere in life if you keep putting everyone's feelings before your own. That's I'm not one. saying hold, everyone's feelings before your hold own. Hold on, hold on. That's number one. For second one. Are you happy going to get your own by sleeping with another girl's It's man? not my concern. It is not oh, my concern. Well. It's not my concern. All right, cool. No. I, all right, cool. When it's not, your, it's not your concern, yeah? When it happens to you, I'll be laughing at you. I promise you, I'll <laughs> laugh at you, bro. You get cheated on, yeah? And, love, and, some, and other people knew. I'm not saying shit because it's not my fucking concern. And do you know what? You Whoa, dickhead. No. <laughs> you're done with you. You're done with you. You're so tired. No, you're so tired. No, what we're saying makes no, sense. No, no, hold on. Hold you're on, so hold on, selfish. hold on. No, that's the attitude that has man. Fighting the girl, the man that his girl's cheating with. That is tapped. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. It is so stupid. No, it's so stupid. No, it's not. No, no wait, wait, t- wait, Tom, listen. I beg of you, I beg you, listen, yeah. When I'm saying do it for you, I'm not saying do it for another person, yeah. I'm doing I'm saying do it for yourself. Because you don't know when you can end up being in that same position where you're on the receiving end of being cheated on, yeah, and no one's there, you know, because it's not my business, it's not my business, yeah. Cool. Whoever's being cheated on, yeah, they should also not go after the the person that were they were cheating on with, they should go after. You shut up. They should go after the cheater, obviously, mm-hmm. because the cheater is obviously the person that had the commitment. Facts. I'm not saying they shouldn't. You're they should go after the person. You're yeah, dumb. but there's no way, there's dumb. no method or intelligence that makes sense to go after the person that they were cheating on with, cheating on you with. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. But that person, said. but that person, if they were, if they were aware. That's their own, because they're gonna have to live with the fact that they knew that shit, and they were like, no, "Cool, I don't no, care." No, no, no. If you're saying I don't give a shit, then you're dumb, because when that's hold you, on. are you gonna give a shit? Hold no, on, no, 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 I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Okay, okay, okay. I'll okay, be okay, short. Okay, okay. I'll be quick. Okay. Most scared of karma, fam. That's simple. That's, that's simple, not. It's not that's not. All is karma. fair in the game that's of not just uni. Karma, bruv. All is yeah. fair in the game of uni. Listen, Jesus. all is fair in the game of uni. In this game of university. All is fair, in my opinion. It is Listen, what I'm it is. All I'm going to say is what yeah. it is. If, if you don't eat, real, bro, 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 bro. come wait, catch wait, me now. Wait, 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 wait. Karma, throw these hands. No, wait, bro. Karma's real. She can come catch me now, fam. Because you're done. No, wait, listen, wait, wait. You're scared. No, wait, wait. of karma. It's no way, Taff. It's not just about karma, bro. Wait. No, wait, no, it's not about karma because it's not about, oh, what goes around comes around. I'm not on that thing, yeah? But let's be let's be realistic. Anyone can be anyone can be the victim of cheating. It can happen to anyone. You're acting like it's not some it's some mad um rare occurring situation, yeah? That yeah, it can happen to this person. Exactly. Anyone can get it. Which you can, can be a good guy and get cheated on. So you might as well enjoy yourself. You more might as well enjoy more, yourself, more, bro. More, 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 it will happen to you more, either more, way. More, more. If 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 right, let me no, if we're being honest, if we're being honest, Look, what, no, wrong, despite no, despite what Mo's saying, no, despite what Mo's saying. It, okay. will, it could happen either way, depending okay. on your judge of character. Facts. Depending on how you judge character. Facts. So, what's it called? What you do in your personal life doesn't matter. Because me, personally, I don't believe in karma. If you, you can do bad mm-hmm. things and get away with it, scot free. Yeah. I'm so, you might as well enjoy yourself. Um, don't, why are you prioritizing someone you don't know? Unless it's going to, no. I'm not going to lie, unless it's going to cause someone like grievous body harm or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's a bit mad. Mm-hmm. But listen, it's for your benefit and. The per- and you're not forcing the person that's in the in the partnership into whatever relationship you're having. It is what it is. It's their choice to step out. It's to step out. Okay. It is their choice. Your choice is just whether they want to sleep in them or not. It ha- your the fact in the relationship, as long as you're looking for just physical attraction, in my opinion, mm-hmm. or what's called I'm um, just physical relations. The fact in relationship shouldn't affect your opinion. Shouldn't affect your choice as long as they're the person that's, that's stepping out is okay that is with so it. So tough. Okay, so let me break down to you why because I don't believe in karma either. So I'm not even coming from that perspective. Okay. But why you guys is like the way you're thinking to me, like it sounds ignorant, right? And due to the fact that you could say, cool, the partner is well aware that they're in a the relationship and that it's on them, that commitment's on them. And you're your own person. You're doing what you want, essentially, right? You don't owe that other person anything. And that's a fact. Facts. However, you're contributing to a bad that is cheating. You're being ignorant of the fact that that person on the cheating it, who's being cheated on is going to be impacted in this way, that way, that way. And you're still contributing to it's it because of based off the fact that Wait. you wanted to do what you wanted to do. Hold on, let's, let's just get, give ourselves like, an extra two minutes to like finish this, to get okay. to the next one. But oh, yeah. to address your, your, what you're saying, yeah, contributing to a bad 
is it's all about perspective and we okay. choose the perspectives that we take right Okay. I feel like if you choose to see it from a negative perspective, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean by being ignorant. That's what I mean by being ignorant. Bad lights up. Bad lights up. I mean, I mean, I mean, man. You might clap, yeah. Do your little applause. No, 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 because no, because because unselfishness. If they're gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat. You might as well enjoy while you're there. Of course, you might not. You might as well enjoy while you're there, bro. Okay, of course, if they're gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat. How does it make sense to say? You should benefit from their from their nonsense, bro. Someone's, Does that make sense? Someone's going to. It might as well be you. Tom, you're not better cool. than the I, second person. You're not better than so, no, the next person. No, no, no. I'm just talking about all we fucked. all pick the perspective we choose as people. If I can get in my philosophical bag right now. No, no, wait, wait, Tom. Wait, no, 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 no,
A black like, person got up with lip fillers. Yeah. For fuck's sake. I don't even want to talk on this one. <laughs> <laughs> tough, tough, I think it's tough, best tough, you don't talk about it. It's genetically impossible <laughs> for a black person to need lip fillers. That's all I need to say. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not involved. Right. I have so no let, comment. Let me just finish this one off. Uh, people are chatting about her, and I don't know if I should tell her. In my opinion, she should. Of course, people will chat about her. Hey, have you seen that, that a black girl with the lip fillers, fam? It's mad. Like, I didn't know black people got lip fillers, fam. I didn't know they needed it, fam. It's mad. Like, it, no, uh, but what is no. needing a lip filler, man? That's needing a, a lip filler. Is... Some, by the way, I don't know if you're trying to imply that some, but that black people genetically have bigger lips, and that's they don't need lip fillers. You need to but some black girls. Big words, fam. I'm <laughs> what big what words? Big words. <laughs> what big words? <laughs> What big no, words? No, no. This is I what can, happens when man them drink on the podcast, I'm bro. I'm tired, fam. I yeah. can smell them But yeah, some, some black girls have small, small lips anyway, so... I'm if she wants to lip fillers for her own I'm confidence, then fair enough. But if they look bad... Can you get, can you get the, the friendship f- chatter, the friendship chatter. Because you, you, you can get them removed. Can you get them removed? Yeah, you can. Like, Kylie Jenner did it, got them removed afterwards. So what, her lips are back to... I thought you just leave no, it all no, the time. No, no. no I, like, I, think, I think they went a bit bigger. Than they she went a bit bigger, but normal. she has taken and them out. She reduced it. She has taken yeah. them out, yeah. Bro, when you look at silicon before it goes into wherever they're putting the silicon, it's not appealing. And then when you see silicon while it's when it's implanted, it's not appealing. Like girls with lip fillers don't look good. Like to a certain degree. In your opinion. In your opinion. In my in opinion, your humble yeah. opinion. In my uh, humble opinion. <laughs> Like no, no, people with lip fillers or any type of um, body implants, yeah, to a certain degree, I feel like you need to have body dysmorphia in a sense that it doesn't look natural. Like, sure, your lips are bigger, but you're, you're picking size over what looks good. And, and I'm not against some people that get implants. I'm just saying that the people that get implants don't get good implants where it, it should... The, the best implant, in my opinion, should probably look like it's not an implant, right? It should probably look natural, not like you've had them done. Yeah. And if people can tell that you've had it done, that's probably a bad implant, in my opinion. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Or maybe, hey. Yeah, yeah I can't even really find yeah. that. But. Just tell your friend or go on. Like, but tell yeah. her, try tell yeah. her in like, um, a nice way. Make sure she's in a good mood. At the end of the day, yeah. You told her before she got them. She didn't listen to you. Now look what's come to Byron. Uh, it's peak. Byron. Uh, yeah. And by the way, if people are talking about you in uni, like about <laughs> oh, you've had lip fillers and all that stuff, I feel like uni's a uni's a small place and a big place at the same time. It's one of those where it's like if people are talking you about you, you're gonna be you're gonna feel the pressure of people talking about you, you're gonna feel the anxiety that comes with that of people talking mm-hmm. about you. Mm-hmm. But for that girl that's got her lip fillers <clears throat> done, it's more like just remember that uni isn't the world. You get me? Uni, you, you'll go to uni, you'll graduate, you'll leave, and then you go out to the wider yeah. world. You get me? Uni is like a pond or a puddle. Like, yeah. It's not really that, that's it. Yeah. And the wider world, no one probably cares. Yeah. That and you know what? If the lip filler increases your confidence, rock that lip filler, G. True. Right. Do you. Like, I'm not going to lie. For me, it's like we're not kids anymore. We're in university. We're above, everyone's above the age of 18. You make your choices, you live with them. Mm-hmm. If... You f- if it makes you feel comfortable within your body, do you, G? Yeah. As long as it's not detrimental to your health, I don't see any... Um, or your financial health either. He means yeah, that as well. Like, like just as long as it's not really um, have a detrimental side effect in any area of your life, I think it should yeah. be okay. I can't yeah. lie. Girls with lip fillers or any type of implants, to me, I just see that. You've okay, got cool. Plan. Oh, yeah. All right, I cool. Yeah. I didn't know where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, In this but particular I situation, I I'll just say, let your friend know again that you don't think they look good. People, people are chatting about her and saying that she looks bad. She can do what she wants from that point. You don't need mm-hmm. to speak anymore. That's She'll eventually come to her own decision and decide what to do. If she decides to keep them, that's her own. Walking with that fat on her, on her lips, actually. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe that. But anyway, but it's but a good so, place. No, but, no, but <laughs> so, but, Wait, hold on. But so, listen, wait, listen, listen. My friends said they look listen, bad, so but I'm just it's important, it's important, it's important, it's important. Okay, you might not agree with the decision, but you have to respect the fact that she's making the decision for true, herself. True, true, yeah, true. Facts, facts. That's her decision. Wait, wait, she's wait, a big man. She's true. a big girl. She can do what she true. wants. You don't have to respect just, the decision. No, I'm saying you don't have to support the decision, but you can respect the decision. I don't think you even have to respect the decision, fam. If someone makes a choice, it is what it is. No, that's what I'm saying. Just say fairs. Yeah. You don't have to start um, cussing them yeah, out. That's what I mean. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. And to the girl that had the lip fillers, yeah, 
Do you? Do so you? hold your head up high and you know you made the right decision. If you need to change it, then change it. No one really cares. But this has been Sliders Podcast. Sliders go with the, with the, with the lip fillers. You should slide out. Uh, oh, <laughs> sure, man. It's been your whole small. <laughs> this is um, who else have we had on the podcast today? Told with the guy, Senpai. Who's tough? Find it on the pod, aka the champion. You're listening to the No Trims podcast. And your boy Tom, if you're gonna cheat, do it right. Don't get caught. <sighs> no one calls. What he said was straight cap. We do not agree with what yeah, he said. No yes, we do. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share with your friends. You know. Uh, we've dropped the second and drop some peas in the Patreon fam I'm tired <laughs> you, I'm tired I'm tired like every, every single episode yeah if you make it to the end and you drop no and you don't drop no peas in the Patreon yeah listen <laughs> we, we're trying to go to Miami fam I'm tired I'm tired man okay so you know what it is man Toby you dropped okay. the ball anyway follow us on Instagram as well and TikTok at Sanders Podcast yeah, yeah. Sanders Pod yeah we got a TikTok now and yeah um, I wouldn't say too much on that sliding out